Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham, back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's a 2023 BMW M3 in black sapphire metallic with Kilami orange interior. All right, so this is the 2023 BMW M3, not to be confused with the competition model. So that means this is a six speed manual transmission with rear wheel drive. I've just hit the unlock button so you can see the headlight animation. And let me just hit the pathway lighting button there so you can see what it looks like with the low beams on. In black, this car looks super menacing. And uh, this is not just black, this is black sapphire metallic. I'm just gonna do one sweep all the way around the car before we get into all the details. Looks really good with these wheels on here. And the rear quarter angle with those wide rear quarters. Look at that. Tail lights on. Watt exhaust, typical M car stuff. Let's take a look at the details. All right, so first and foremost, I love how this black sapphire looks with the metallic in it. We've got that sculpted hood, classic G80 stuff. We have the 50 years of BMW M Rondell on the front there. We've got that beautiful kidney grill with the M3 badging there in chrome to indicate that this is the M3, not the M3 comp. And we've got laser light headlights, which I've got on right now. You've got the blue accents in there. It says laser on the top there, which looks really cool. And next thing I want to show you is if we come around to the side here, we do have the 19 inch front, 20 inch rear, 825M wheels in bicolor burnished. And it looks really good there with the 50 years of M center cap and the blue uh, M compound brakes. So I know a lot of people like it black on black on black on black, but I think this actually really pops nicely. Got the M3 air breather. We have the M wing mirrors and look at this. We have optional power sunroof instead of carbon fiber roof. I know a lot of people are going to make some comments, so please comment. <laughs> we've got the new style antenna up there. And of course, being the M3, we've got four doors. 20 inch wheel on the back here looking really good and then we've got trunk lid spoiler here in black 50 years of M badging on the back I'm just gonna get the tail lights on there M3 badging here as well and there's your quad exhaust tips with the vertical reflectors on each side looking awesome now let me go ahead and press and hold the trunk release button so once that's up grocery bag hanger 60-40 split release levers on each side front plate bracket. I hope it stays there <laughs> We've got a little storage space down here as well and Carpeted floor mats winter ones are in the floor already and then this side tire and flitter kit tow hook wheel lock key all that good stuff And there's a button here to close another one to close and lock in one step So let me just press that and we'll do that the fancy way come around to the side We have the fuel cap door right here. We want you to use 93 octane and uh, you could use 91, but really you'll get the best performance from 93 or 94. And that is connected to the central locking system. We have comfort access by touch on all four door handles. So let me just open up that rear door so we can see not only do we have Harman Kardon sound system in here, but we've got the beautiful Kalami orange, black merino leather interior. So that looks really good. I'm just gonna lower the headrest to get my OCD out of here. Headrest in the center can flip off pass through through the center um, but there is no armrest in the back of the m3 and we've got the m sport seats vents on the back of the center console with rear climate controls two usb type c charging ports vents underneath the front seats pockets in the side doors this all looks really good if we approach from the front passenger door open that up so we've got the aluminum m3 door sill down here looking great Pockets on the side of the doors, controls on the on the uh, window controls as well as unlock and lock. Down here we've got sport seats, so we do have lumbar and side bolster, and we've got the illuminated M3 on the headrests, and the headrests are adjustable up and down with power on these beautiful sport seats. Over here, right, illuminated glove box, piano black trim on side, iDrive 8 with the M specific setup. And we have this beautiful six-speed manual shifter. I love that. iDrive controller. And we've got uh, 
all of the good M stuff over here. Now, if I press this, that opens up. So there's some storage space, cup holders, 12 volt plug, and a USB type A. And if I lift this part up, and I'm glad this is orange, we have USB type C, it's illuminated in there. Let's go open the door on the other side. All right, if we open up the driver door, so we have galvanic controls in here, we've got memory seats, we've got power tailgate, and we've got the full power seat from the driver's side. Let's take another look at these beautiful seats. I think that looks really good in here. Black and orange looks really good, even if it's not Halloween. Head up display, M specific, iDrive 8. I really do like the M specific iDrive 8. We've got the nice M steering wheel with the stitching. M badging at the bottom, heated steering wheel, cruise control, radio controls, M1 config, M2 config. Yeah, you don't need the paddles in this one because we've got three pedals down here, storage space down here. Let's pop the hood and see this S58. So two pulls, let's go around to the front. So now we can just lift that up and there it is. The beautiful S58 3 liter inline six twin turbo. You have uh, in this one, because it is the non comp, you have 473 horsepower, 406 foot pounds of torque. You have this triangular strut brace here, positive battery terminal, negative battery terminal is just right here. And we also have, whoop, my camera's going crazy. We also have your washer fluid over here. But man, S58, modern day 2JZ, this is where it's at. The king of inline sixes, BMW M Power. All right, so before we conclude the video, I'm just gonna do one more little walk around. We can't really do a remote engine start, cold start, because the manual transmission does not get the remote engine start. We can't be trusted to leave it in neutral. <laughs> but overall, I love this car. I really wish I could get a manual rear-wheel drive M car, especially if it's in a G chassis, because it's pretty crazy. Not to say that I don't like the F chassis, but I'm already spoiled being in a G chassis vehicle with iDrive 8. So yeah, what a beautiful car. Black is always good. All right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2023 BMW M3 in black sapphire metallic with the clammy orange merino leather interior and with the six-speed manual transmission. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you take an auto? Would you take manual? What do you think of the sunroof? Let me know. Uh, pricing information is in the description below. And of course, if you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.